Amber and I'm back with that bonus video that I promised you using up the scraps from our last project in my Rediscover Your Stash series. So in the last video I created this super adorable twine mini album and it's so pretty. If you missed that please go and check out that video. We used so so much paper and it was super easy to create so I did a step-by-step -step tutorial and if you missed it I will link it below and right here for you so I promised that we were gonna do something with the scraps so after making that album the scraps that I had left over were this size right here and then this size right here so what I did is I made some really cute little mini accordion albums and these are so adorable and I just closed them with seam binding and my seam binding comes from Etsy. I'll link the shop below that I get all my seam binding from. She's amazing. It's called My Scrap Cabin but this is what they look like. Isn't that so cute? So I was able to make four of these with all the scraps I had plus we have enough to make another one here on video. So let me just kind of show you a little flip through of what these look like. So this is just the cutest little size. It actually measures three by four and a quarter. Really cute little size. So this is using the Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection, which is what we used to create this album. And so, sorry about the lighting again. Um, it's super rainy here and cozy today. So it's a little bit dim, but we're gonna work with it anyways. So this one is my first one. It's so cute. And this is how these work. So it just opens like this. And it's double sided paper. So I did make some cute little pockets along the way. That's just a tag from the ephemera pack from that same Maggie Holmes Flourish collection. And I just left these pretty blank um, for little tiny photos. I embellished up here with some of the stickers. And I designed these all pretty much the same, just with different paper. So here's the next page. I just put a cute little sticker here from this sticker sheet from the Flourish Collection. And I made another little pocket here, which I'm going to show you how to do. And these two cute little die cuts. And then this is the back, and this is kind of where this is where you attach the seam binding. So I just put a die cut over it to, to secure the seam binding, and then it opens this way. So here's the other paper. Lots of room for little cute pictures. So pretty, and I just added some more stickers from the collection. Another pocket with a die with a vellum die cut and a tag another great spot for a photo and then we're back at the beginning so these just get tied up in a cute little bow and you can make a ton of these little albums in no time at all you can send them to all your pen pals you can attach them to happy mail instead of a card they are so quick and so fun so let me show you a little flip through of the rest of them I made and then we're gonna make one here together
accordion albums that I made. So let's go ahead and get started on this super easy tutorial. So to make one of these cute little accordion albums, you're going to need two of each type of scraps. So you end up with this size and this size from that last project. So you just need to choose two of each size. And the first thing I want to do is just cut off that strip at the top. So once you cut that off, these end up being four and a quarter by 12 inch strips. So we're just going to cut that off for both pieces. So now we have two pieces that measure four and a quarter by 12. So for these, don't cut the strip off just yet. I'll show you what we're going to do with these later, but do not cut this strip off because we're going to use it. So with these two strips, you're going to take out your scoreboard. Oops. You're just going to put this in on the 12 inch side and you're going to score it at three inches, six inches, and nine inches. So you just scored it every three inches. Okay, so we did three, six, and nine. So do that for both of your pages. So now that you have both of your pages scored, you're going to actually adhere these together. So I want to make sure that I choose what my cover is. So the way to choose your cover is simply just take one of your pages and flip the first score line over like this. So your cover can either be this, it can be that, or it can be that, or that. So I think that I want my cover to be the pretty lemon paper. So I know that I'm gonna put that one here on the left. So I can go ahead and flatten that one back out. And since this is the subtle side and this is the busier side, I'm gonna make sure for this one that I put next to it, I'm gonna have the busy side up. Okay, so now you need to adhere these two pieces together. So the trick for that, and let me zoom in for this, is you're gonna find the first score line on this page, which is right here. You want to glue just shy of that score line. That way it still can fold freely with no obstruction here. So we're gonna be gluing this piece down to this piece. And that's how we're gonna connect these pages. And so I'm adding the glue just shy of that score line. As you can see, I'm not covering the score line at all. But I wanna get it all the way to the edge because this is gonna be where your little album connects. Okay, so now we've got this laid out and you're gonna just take the last panel of this one and glue it right over this panel, not covering the score line. So by gluing it just shy of that score line makes it so this fold is not obstructed either. And it's just shy of that fold as well. So then you just wanna get that really nice and adhered down. And it's that easy. These accordion albums are so fun. Um, I used to make a different, like a four by six variation of these in a little bit of a different way. And that was inspired by my good friend and a fellow crafter, Cynthia. She's at the Scrappy Bookworm One. She used to make the four by six accordion albums and I loved making those. So now you have one long piece and it looks like this. So the next thing you're gonna do is very easy. You're gonna fold this up like an accordion. So remember, this is your cover. So you're gonna fold it in, so you can open it like a book like this, and then you're gonna take the next fold and fold it back, and you can um, crease down with your bone folder along the way. So the next fold, of course, is over again. The next fold is back, and then over, and that page is back. So that was super easy. If you need to watch that a few times, but it's so easy. You just folded this up like an accordion and then you've got your cute little book. Got all these pages and here's the back and then it starts all over again, just like this. 
So I think this is like the cutest little size album. You can make a bunch of these in no time at all. And now I'm going to show you how I add the seam binding and I make the little pockets. On this Maggie Holmes paper, they just happened to design it to where a strip of the other side is like here on the bottom. So I like to utilize that and here as well and there. So what I did is I just took out my paper trimmer and cut down four pockets. So I'm going to cut this down to just shy, like a sixteenth of an inch shy of three inches. Just like the little hair shy of three inches. Okay, so then you come up with a little cute piece like this. So make as many of these as you can. I can come up with four. So now I've got four cute little pockets and I just want to do one little other thing before we glue these into our cute album. I have this one and a half inch circle punch. You can use any size circle punch you have. And I just like to cut a little half notch out like this. So there's like a little pull tab there. So I'm going to do this for all four of my pockets. So we've got all four cute mini little pockets ready to put in our album. So this is super easy. All you do is just choose the pages where you want the pockets. So I like to open mine up and immediately put one right here. I'm using wet glue, the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I think I want to put that one there. So you just want to glue a very thin bead on three sides. And try to be careful that this doesn't seep because it kind of stays tacky, this glue. So just get it right up against that score line, not over it though, and you should be good to go. So give it a few seconds to dry and you've got yourself a cute little pocket to put goodies in. So now I'm just going to go throughout the rest of the album and choose where I want to put the rest of my pockets. For the closure. So this is the front because remember we picked our cover. This is the front. So just turn it all the way to the back and add a little strip of ATG. You can use ribbon for this. You can use twine. You don't have to do this at all. But I'm going to use two pieces of seam binding. So I'm going to lay my first piece kind of roughly down on that glue. Then I'm going to add another strip over that seam binding and just eyeball this to center it and then roughly throw that over it. So I want to try to keep this as flat as possible because I'm going to be laying like a die cut over this to keep it more secure. So I, kind of, I took apart one of the die cut packs that I showed you in the last video and I just want to choose one to glue over that seam binding. It just makes it more cute and decorative. And that keeps the seam binding so it doesn't move around and it gives it a nice secure closure. So I'm just going to center that on here and it works out pretty good. And there we go. That becomes the back of our little album and now this can come around and tie in the front. So I'm also going to be embellishing the front here and what I used to embellish the other ones was this really cute cut apart sheet from the paper pad. And I think I'm gonna use this lemon paper. So 
there's the cover. And now I just want to kind of go through and add some stickers here and there. I finished the little accordion album and I think it's super cute we'll do a quick flip through here's the cover you open it up to a little pocket and I added some stickers over here and then this is just blank for a photo and then I added some stickers here with a little journaling spot or a date spot another pocket with a really cute die cut another place for a picture and then here's the back cover So then it opens again this way, and the most beautiful tag ever is in here with a cute hummingbird sticker and a sentiment sticker. And then I just added this for lots of journaling here and here with some cute stickers. And then this really pretty page with the lemon paper and the pocket with this vellum die cut and a sticker. And then we're back to the beginning. These are super cute and super fast and easy, and now I'm just going to tie my seam binding around it. I'm able to use almost every single bit of my scraps from that last project, and these turned out so super cute. I hope that you'll take your scraps and give these a try. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I had fun making all these cute accordion albums. They were so much fun. I was able to use almost every bit of my scraps from that last project. I hope that you're enjoying this Rediscover Your Stash series. I'm really having fun with it, going through my stash, rediscovering all of the beautiful items that I already have and using them, using up every scrap. I just love it so much because, you know, I love paper. I'm addicted. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.